My name is Charles H. Joko, and I would like to talk to you about making decisions based on scientific evidence as against opinion. I have heard people ask questions like, do you believe in global warming? Perhaps some of you have also asked or heard similar questions, discussions, or arguments relating to climate change or the environment. Our planet Earth is affected by numerous forces such as radiation from the sun, the movement and changes in land, water, and air masses, and the effects of damage and pollution caused by people. Earth responds to such forces in different and complex ways. Earth's response can sometimes produce effects that feed back to the original forces and complicate them even more. Therefore, decisions about the changes of the Earth's system or parts of it cannot merely be based on opinions, beliefs, or partial information. Rather, for such decisions to be meaningful, they should be based on clear evidence from careful scientific investigations. Typically, a scientific investigation starts with a question or a set of related questions such as, is the earth becoming warmer? If so, what is responsible for it? And is this occurring the same way everywhere always? How is it likely to affect life? These are not questions that can be answered simply by saying something like, I think the earth is becoming warmer because it feels warmer this summer than it did last summer. This is not a useful answer, because we know that it is normal for temperature to change between different times of the day or between different days, seasons, or years. To answer questions like these, scientists begin by examining accurate temperature data measured in different parts of the world for the last 30 years or more. If they find out that Earth's temperature has indeed increased more than normal, they will examine other types of data to confirm what they have found out. Then, the scientists can formulate hypotheses about the possible causes of the temperature increase. There are many things that can contribute to temperature increase, and scientists recognize that some of them are not easy to know. Therefore, a hypothesis cannot be used as evidence to make a decision. It can only be used to develop a set of scientific plans to investigate what they have observed more thoroughly. Scientists use different types of data measured from the ground, aircraft and satellites, like those you see on the screen, turning around the Earth and taking measurements. They apply their knowledge of science and mathematics to analyze the data and create complex computer models to check how different parts of a system work together. Finally, they collect other data and information to verify their methods and results. Only such results based on good scientific methods and verifications can be used for making balanced decisions about our planet Earth or parts of it. Through the GLOBE program, students, teachers, and citizens like you can also participate in such scientific investigations using the same data sets that scientists use, together with those you collect by yourselves. This will help you to answer such questions based on what data tells you rather than just what you think. For more information, visit www.globe.gov.